Casalda, the queen of tea. We welcome you all to join us every, every single, single Tuesday at 9 a.m. This is a whole hour of Santa Barbara teen athletes and all those people. Woo! And business. And the business. Don't forget the businesses. That support those teen athletes. Uh, oh, I, I'm kind of like bummed. I get this text here from Dominique that she's not going to make the show today. Boo. I know. It's funny because she works for Cameron and Company, and uh-huh. I didn't know this, but she a couple weeks ago she wasn't in, and she goes, you know, she was walking through the warehouse, and it's a big um, kitchen company. You know, they do big oh. commercial kitchens mm-hmm. for big companies, and they actually landed this really, really, really big commercial kitchen for this really, really really big uh, company because you can't talk about it but it's a fruit and if you ever did the whole song you know blank and bananas so if you think about the other fruit that goes with that okay so that's the company not I'll talk about it. so anyway so we are right now being plugged into the warehouse so let's say hey to Cameron and company <laughs> All right. that's right so Dominic you didn't show up today but I want to say hi to Colin Rebecca Corey Jason Cameron and Faye Dana Anya Felipe Eddie Nathan and Angie, thank you all for representing. That's right. And what I, we did. Is and I see I've Billy got, and Frida I know, really. and Gwendolyn. I know. Welcome to Romper Room. Exactly. <laughs> I know, really, huh? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Right. What's his name? Uh, John Boy. And, you know, <laughs> Mary, Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen. <laughs> Betty Sue. I don't know. I forgot it was a long time ago. Anyway, yeah, so that was exciting news. Yeah. Um, so cool. what's going on with you, Dee? Just uh, working our way into fall and headed towards winter and cooler weather, blaze and rain, lots yeah. of it. Yeah. Easy on the lots of it. Just extend it out. Don't give it all at once. I heard some places uh, when, when some of these thunderstorms kicked up back in October down in L.A., you got like two, three inches in a couple of hours. Yeah, do you so remember that one easy. day where Santa and Barbara mudslides? was shut down? It took me one hour... I live off a of turnpike. Mm-hmm. Turn, right? One exit up is Patterson, right? Right. It took me one hour and fifteen minutes to get from Patterson back to Turnpike. Now I could have. Now I don't like to walk. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big exercise person nowadays, <laughs> you know, because Doctor Scotty says don't exercise. He's working on me. No, he says exercise, but anyway, he's treating me right now. He's absolutely Doctor Scott. He's here in the house today because yes. when I talk behind his back, he's no. actually quite brilliant. You've been treated by him. Yes, I have. I just love Doctor Scott. I do. I do. Woo! Dr. Scott, we're not going to talk to you right now. Wait, That's don't right. talk. Okay, so get back to Dr. D. Well, Go ahead. We, were, we went out to Costco at 4 o'clock. Right. Or left Costco at right, 4, right. right? We didn't get home till 6.30. Right. Now. 4 o'clock, 6.30. Got you. Right. Two and a half hours. Two and a half In Santa hours. Barbara. In Santa Barbara That's on funny. Cathedral Oaks. Oh, my God. Now. Normally, and you're kind of a grumpopotamus. Oh, I know. I've seen yeah. you in the car. And I mean, if one person makes, I can't even imagine. That was the longest two and a half oh. hours of Amrita's life. Oh, and with for you her in too. The car. Oh, for her really? too. She was oh, driving. She's another grumpopotamus. She a- now, had we thought? I mean, really allowed our intuition to kick in at four thirty, quarter of five, realizing this was not going to change for some time to come, Right, we would have turned around, right. gone west, got on the 101, and gone around and been home in a half hour. No, no, no. It's yes. packed. I don't, well, no, maybe going so? west. Oh, going west. Going west or north. Okay. okay. I going the go other direction. The yeah. Yeah. Every time I stare. Because coming I south, west. Yeah, I got you. it was, uh, and I, I'm sitting here going, and all these trucks are right. on the five? Right. Whoa. Well, it just shut everything down. It was yeah. just amazing. I and mean, our hearts go out to the people who lost their way, lives. You know, oh, yeah. About it. I felt really bad because basically for two hours straight, all oh. I heard was, um, you know, ambulances and emergency. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing that they can do. I oh, mean, where are you going to go? Yeah. I mean, you went in, on on the island. I don't know. It's pretty crazy, it crazy stuff. But so I'm glad it's over. Yeah, it's and they, done. They've got it all squared away. And yeah, it's we really don't cool. Have that happen again. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, everything else going? good? Everything else is going good. Yeah. Uh, got a vacation planned here around Thanksgiving. Nice. Going up to Yosemite, hopefully. Nice. We're trying to put that together. Trying to find a motorhome or a trailer. I like that. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Lots of different. We love you, Doctor D. Thank you. I hate all those. Uh, commercials again. I say it every week. Yeah, they do, you knocked it out of the park. Well, thank you. So again, have, I like to always go. The big plus is we have fun producing them. Yeah, and that's that shows. Well, that's it's nice cool. because we're really honoring those businesses and those people in the yeah. community because they are, I mean, there's not for any profit there, okay? They're right. donated. Right. So I don't want anybody to, you know, reach out to just tell you the kind of person. Exactly. So if you see or you hear these commercials, you know, thank that person because they're doing the extra in the community and that's what's really important. Mm-hmm. Who so, else do we have here today that'll be in oh, later? Oh, I don't I don't want to say. I oh, don't know because, you know. Secret. I don't oh, know. <laughs> but I will say whisper, that we have a, we have a couple. No one else will listen. Yeah, no. We have a couple more co-hosts. I want to get to them. No. All right. Here we go. 
doctor, Doctor Scott. Woo hey, hey, thank you. Doctor, Doctor. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks. Yeah. What are you going to do on Thanksgiving? Oh gosh, Thanksgiving. Well, are you going on vacation too? Uh, probably going to stay local. Yeah. Uh, my mom's in town Aww. and hang out with my son, and it's, it's going to be a good time. Nice. Yeah, eat some good food. Probably come over to your house. I know you're looking at me. You're going to have Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. I probably will. Well, what's I don't up? know. What's up I always say no, this? and then <laughs> I feel it. You know, like on the fifteenth. You know, right when everybody I figure has made plans for those you know little leftover people that I feel right. bad. Right, and I'm like, all right, everybody. Come over here. We'll just be like lost puppies at your door. And, yeah, you know, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's always very good, huh? Uh, oh, You've I, eaten at my house before. I have eaten we at your house. We spent no it's expense. Spectacular. Yeah, I it's mean. pretty good. <laughs> I just, I mean, the whole cooking thing is fun. I mean, gathering your friends and all putting together a meal and doing it nice and slow. Yeah, taking a long time to eat it and then well, just gather around. I mean, those things they don't exist anymore, and it's so everything is so rushy, rushy. Yeah, so well, that's why I think I, I value the um, and treasure the holidays, you know, more than maybe most. I don't know. I agree. We were having this conversation the other day about just uh, how much more authentic a, a meal across from somebody at a home is oftentimes in a restaurant just because it's, uh, it's loud. Right. It's, it's hard to have a conversation. And right. when you can just settle down a little bit, it gets a lot and I richer. can't have a conversation because I am loud. So well, then everybody knows what's going on. Well, it's like, oh. There's always a conversation with you. <laughs> I know. Just like, you know, we've got to be talking. You know, that's how it works. So well, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, awesome. Woo, Scott. All right, to your left, we got my little one. He's got something he wants to tell me, and I'm not I'm not feeling right, and I'm scared. He's scaring me. Gregory, what's going on, dude? Woo, Gregory! Hey, hello, G- Gregory Medardian here, and... Um, and I and Boy Scout um in first class and this and we're almost at the end of our popcorn selling contest. Okay, well this oh is this boy. is more exciting than ever, and you're looking at me and I'm scared. So well, bad. yes. Um, last time um I um when my some when you first when I first sold to you you gave me a hundred dollars right. but right. another friend gave me a hundred ten and uh-huh. as soon as I told you you gave me twenty dollars right. but That's as soon as I told my other friend um she paid an extra twenty five dollars so oh. she's got a wow. hundred and thirty five dollars and you got a uh, hundred uh, twenty dollars. We got a Sorry. bidding war it's going on. on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I told you use me. I, I want to be used. That's why. So you know, I'm going to top it, right? Yeah, but okay. So he's got a hundred. She's yeah, got one thirty. Yeah, but still, with all right. that popcorn, will you be able to buy next year? Yeah, absolutely. We're not going to worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry. My boys are out of the house. I have a lot of extra, You're already extra working money on you for the next contest. Yeah, I mean, my, yeah. Boys are, my, my, my. Don't have to worry about it. I'm surprised you haven't like put it on Facebook and every like every other day somebody's ringing on my door. Yeah. I hide now. I only buy from you. But um, so yeah, so I'm in. So she's in at one thirty one. One thirty five. One thirty five. I'm in at one thirty six. No, one twenty. <laughs> uh, you're willing to pay. All right, so I'm going to give. 16 bucks 140 is a pretty round number no because y'all want her to come back (laughs) oh Oh, that's right how dare she that's it 136 going going woo yeah Yeah. who's on top that's it do you remember where I want all that popcorn to go where that I told you do you remember from last week oh yeah right right do you remember the school uh Sa- um, Sam Ravio? That's right! All the teachers at St. Rayfield's is going right. to get that popcorn. That's right. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, don't even like stop by and check in or anything because I like popcorn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this way, all the teachers, I want to just support it. Um, it's just, so my kids went to school and whatnot, so thank you. And just, uh, I want you to send a copy of the show to her. Okay, what's her name that beat me? That tried to beat me. It um, wasn't even going to happen. Um, <laughs> Um, Jessica. Jessica. Uh, is it Jessica? Yes. Not Jessica. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I want to wear a t-shirt. Not Jessica. Okay. <laughs> True <laughs> four. It's not going to happen. Not here. Not ever. All right. So, and I'm, I'm going to always have an extra $5, $10. Tell Jessica she's going to get into it for two and a quarter, two fifty. She wants to beat me. Because <laughs> I'll tell her right up, I'll go up to two fifty. Okay. All right. $2. That's it. $2. I'll go up to two fifty. Just tell her. Push her. Nudge her. Well, all right. He's going to win it. the contest. That's You're right. going to win the bidding war. That's Right. Winner of exactly. St. Rayfield. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Woo! That's right. We love those St. Rayfield teachers. We love all teachers. We love you too, Greg. We thank you for being here today. Yeah. Last but not least, we have the newest co-host. Put your hands together. Athletic director of Providence, just Providence.
Providence because they decked that hall. Did, okay? Sir. Steve Stokes, woo! Stevie, Stevie, Stevie. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. D. That's it. You know, it's pretty funny because I know you brought a bag and I know you brought a nice, we weren't sure if it was a medium or a large. And I don't see, you know, Sal Rodriguez because, you know, he was supposed to come, you know, because you're ready. I, you're oh, ready. I'm, I'm ready. I I'm know ready. you're ready. You're happy. You're ready. You, you got know. the whole Providence shirt on. I think uh, I, I Saul is afraid. No, we're not away, talking trash. You know. No, no, this isn't trash. The I same, think, no, no, the, the, the same way that you right. know Sal's not here right now. I like that. I don't expect the uh, Laguna yeah. Owls to show up on December third either. You know? Oh, yeah. you know, I think he's scared. I think so. <laughs> I think he's afraid. Scared. He's very. <laughs> and and you know what? He I, should be I, very afraid. He should. If I was wearing boots, I'd be shaking in them. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. was awesome. This is too good. Okay, we've got a couple of guests in the house. We're going to get to them at break, but just tell... I know you got a, you got a hot one in the quiet room. I do, I do. I, uh, I brought Joey Butita here with us today, and uh, yeah. <laughs> he, so we're going to uh, get to him at break. Yeah, he uh, he's you know on KEYT, you know does the news for them, but he also is uh, has been on the Amazing Race this season with oh, we'll his talk about with his girlfriend Ooh. who is also on KEYT, and nice. you can watch both of them on the news. Excellent. So we're gonna get to him after break, and then Gregory, who'd you bring? Um, a friend of mine who is a viol- uh, who plays the violin in soccer and takes ballet. Oh, does she have a name? It's not Rebecca. What's her name? Who's the chick that's trying <laughs> Jessica. to be? Jessica. Her name isn't Jessica, is it? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Okay, good. Oh, I don't good. think there's uh, even a J in her last name. Oh, that, thank you. Okay, mm-hmm. her name is Kate. That's why, right? Yeah. Yep. Hello. All right. Awesome. And there's, and there's no sign of J in there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So funny. You're killing me. So listen, now. We're gonna go. It's 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 head bobber time. It's go time. All right, we gotta check out. So check in after break. This is Erica Salter, the Hello. Queen of Teen. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salter, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at nine a.m. Okay, you know something? You haven't been here in such a long time. Scott know? Noble. Well, I just, you know, I've it missed you. Like well, I see you twice a week, you know, because thank you. Gotta, I mean, I'm Humpty Dumpty. You have to put me back together again. <laughs> but um, that's what happens when you try, like, you know, that stupid kickboxing thing I tried to do. Well, that, <laughs> I know, 40 minutes, and then I couldn't walk for four months. Um, so If that keeps on giving. I, exactly, really, yeah. It's you, Nobody could find it right now because it's over the wash. Okay, um, you know, it flies. You know those CD things? They really fly. If you, if you throw it hard enough, they just like a... I mean, honestly, people were thinking it was like a UFO, the way I just... I got some speed on that, baby. Okay, so talk to me. I know you want to share something. We got to share something. So enlighten me. All right. Well, uh, this is a, this is a kind of one of those practical common sense things, but uh, I think it's a, it's worth bringing up. And, and your segue here about your injury and, and how long it's taken to really um, get better is is perfect for what I, for what I brought today because... You know, sports, you know, we can't say enough good things about them, and, and we, we all know that. And the, the back side of that is injury. And, and that's something, you know, that I see a lot of. And one thing that I was thinking about this morning was uh, how I hear a lot from people that are quite a bit older oh, it was that time when I got hurt in this athletic experience or that. And uh, these, are, these are oftentimes things that weren't totally addressed in the moment. They didn't, they didn't really get taken care of. And, and one of the things that's tricky about the body is uh, symptoms are not always the best indicator of what's really going on under the radar. Most of our nervous system is actually wired for unconscious controls. It means we can't feel it. Like, you know, you don't, self-regulate your heart. Maybe a yogi in India does, but the, most of us do not. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's basically, there's a lot of unconscious controls. So the idea that symptoms is going to be a perfect indicator of, of health is, is actually not totally accurate. So when we get hurt on the field and, and you know, shake it off, oftentimes it comes back to haunt us. You know, in professional athletes, this is a really serious thing because if they uh, shake off something like a high ankle sprain, it could put them out not just for a year, it could put them out for their career. 
So there are certain indi- you know uh, injuries that are taken extremely seriously because if you don't take care of them, then it leads to long-term things. So my basic message here is, you know, if you get hurt on the field, take care of it, and and it it, it it applies to all of life really. Like if you've got something that needs to be handled, do it in the short term because long term, you know, whether it's mental, physical, spiritual, you know, there, if you let things ride too long. It ends up coming out, come back to bite you. And, and, you know, I just reflecting on some of my older clients who are feeding this back to me. Like, you know, I wish I had just gotten that taken care of 25 years ago because it never fully, you know, and here they are at 65 dealing with something. So uh, take care of yourself, people, and, and uh, get the help that you need. Steve, jump in there. I know gotta you want to say something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you got, you, little, you got a lot of owies? Do you got, Steve, you got a lot, I, I lot of owies? I do a lot of owies. Do you? Absolutely. Okay. also nine feet tall, so he hits the door a lot when he walks in. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know, I, I actually do have a scar on my forehead from running into a, <laughs> running into a door. Yeah, that's a true story. <laughs> um, what would you say to an athlete that is, you know, feeling a little bit of a pressure from their teammates or their coaches to, you know, big game on Friday night in the football or, you know, Saturdays in, 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 in basketball? What would, you, uh, what would you say to an athlete? Athlete that is feeling pressure from their teammates or coaches to kind of, as you said, suck it up? Well, um, I think that, you know, that's a, that's a really tricky thing because we all want to perform at a high level. You know, there's the competitive aspect of this and, uh, you know, and, and we, we want to play. And I think the first thing you got to ask is, you know, how deep am I feeling this? Mm. Like, for instance, if there's a, a heat really deep up in the joint, that that's that's not superficial, and and I love what you said. You gotta listen to your body, mm-hmm. and if your body's telling me there's a deep, boring pain in the in the joint, that's a little different than shaking it off. Shaking it off sort of implies that it's on the surface, <laughs> and and there's other times. You know, you scrape your knee, well, I'll get back and play. You right. know, like there's there's a time to do that. There's a time to power ice. There's a time to do micro movements instead of big movements. Just something to keep things moving, keep the fluids moving, keep things elevated as necessary. Follow your your trainer's advice you know there's so there's ways to power through a lot of that stuff and if your body's telling you this is serious you got to ask yourself the question is missing tonight's game you know really worth it if i'm playing strong for the rest of the season well steve what do you do i mean you got to play you could see in his eyes you've been coaching for a long time i mean have you ever said against the, the your your athletes your star athlete you know i mean i mean i'm saying suck it up but i mean <laughs> I, <laughs> I think because it's about winning. It's horrible. I'm sorry, but I admit it. But okay. if you lose of a game course. and win the season, right. Because your no, your I strong player listen. Yeah, no, that's I, that's I, the that's know. the balancing act here. Yeah, I know. I think so the better you, coaches out done? there are more concerned with their athletes' well being right. as opposed to the, the scoreboard because you don't want to do any long term damage. At, you, you don't know, like 16, put your head up and years down old, and say right? you're okay, right? Right? You're okay, right? I'll help them with the nodding up and down. You see my two fingers? You see. My two fingers. You see my three fingers. Oh yeah, he passed the concussion test. He's good to go. It's yeah. fine. You know, I've had a lot of athletes um, actually deal with uh, cramps, right. and it was interesting. Mm-hmm. I remember watching the NBA Finals a few years ago, and LeBron James was suffering from cramps. And like, oh, he's a baby. You know, get back out there. Those people have obviously never had cramps. Those uh, things are extremely yeah. painful. People right. drown in hot from gyms. cramps. Yeah, right. absolutely. Like, and it's it's all the will to survive isn't even gonna like pull you out of the ocean. <laughs> if you're cramping up and can't move your muscles. So, yeah, that a, that, it that, hurts. Is, is that dehydration or is that like nervous? What is that? What is a cramping? Where did that come from? There's not a, a single answer to that. Dehydration is actually a, a up there pretty high. But, I mean, these we, we fatigue our muscles so much that what eventually happens is they, they feel the need to protect themselves and they go into spasm. The trouble is, is that spasm hurts so much on top of whatever put it there in the first place, you get more spasm. Them, and it creates a vicious cycle that shuts somebody down. Uh, and, you know, a lot of times you've got to have someone else really manually move you through range of motion. Hard to even walk. Yeah. yeah. And But if you've got someone else to actually kind of as a trainer or whatever to push the muscles back into place and pump some fresh fluid through them, then you can relieve the cramp. So is it heat that helps that or ice? Um, I would go with heat in the immediate. Like, I mean, in, in the short term, you just got to get that muscle to relax and any chance of shocking it with ice. Long term, you know, for inflammation, that's what ice is used for. Well, awesome. 
Well, really long term, but acutely for inflammation, especially like immediately after an injury is when you want to start icing in that first 24 hours. Okay. I, oh, my oh, God. No, Peter, it's on. Put your hands together. <laughs> I just love it. You know, it's, it's like, you know, it's this guy. Oh, yeah. The party starts at 3.30. Okay. I'll be there around 4. Uh, uh, party starts at 9. Oh, okay. I'll be there at like 9.45. <laughs> <laughs> Salrod Vegas, how you doing there, big dog? My mentor, my friend. I'm doing well, Eric. I had to work. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got off. <laughs> so nice. So plus, I hear the Providence Hall is going to be here, so I had to go. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you know something. We talked a little Laguna <laughs> Providence basketball before you got here, yeah, too. Yeah, I know. So. You know something? This is a great time to take a break because I got to get him a chair. I got to, you got, got, you know, you got sizing issues you got to work out. You know, I got to, I want to take pictures at the break. So let's do this. Let's take a little, let's take a quick little break. This is Eric Asalda. Stay tuned for more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Eric Asalda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. Wow, I'm so happy he showed. How you doing, this, Sal Dog? I'm doing hey, good. You know what I, I'm looking at? I just got this. They mailed it to um, KZSB AM 1290. My thank you note for the awesome event that we held. I loved it. It was awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, you know, we did. This like is a receipt that means I spent money. I just because you know you kind of <laughs> banged me last year. <laughs> uh, I expect you, I expect you to spend some money, and I'm like, well, Sal, you know, I put my name on the. Hey, hey, why don't you quiet down for a little okay, bit? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did. See, see, I did you, you know, she sold. She she bought. I uh, actually spent four hundred and fifty dollars. I've been hearing about it since. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, well, I didn't know. And, I plus the fact that's, that's that I, I let her in, I, I let her in for free. Yeah, exactly. And, she, and she's still wanking. Yeah, no, I like it. <laughs> four thirty five ninety. Actually, <laughs> oh, va- oh, the value. Oh, actually, it's more than that. Oh, you know, what Boys happened? and Girls Club is a nonprofit, though they uh, they keep their doors open because of people like you, Erica. Okay. Actually, it worked out good because the value. I actually I scored. It was five hundred twenty dollars, but the value was seven eighty seven eighty one. Talk to me, baby. That's right. I know how to bid. That's right. I love that. Now I'm happy. I'm never gonna say a word again. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Sal. Uh, just you know, I, I think we uh, we netted uh, one one uh, one eighty. Nice. Wow. Yeah, that's not bad. It's really good. Not bad. You at know, all. I brought this up at the show a couple of shows ago. Um, now that uh, Braggs is, um, we're definitely donating them a whole gift package of commercials, and they also got this huge banner ad on our site. But how fun was that at the towards the end after all the twenty thousand? Because there were many a twenty thousand dollar donations. But you know, she tries to fuel the fire, so she lets it all go, and then oh, we think it's all done, and she stands up, gets the microphone. You came up with a donation, and you got it fired up, and then she stands up and she goes, "I'd like Braggs." would like to donate twenty thousand oh, no. dollars. She's trying to wheel it up again. She's just awesome. I love Patricia. It was awesome. I think Braggs is fantastic. So uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, okay. Thanks on for that like. Note, on that <laughs> note. All right, you pull the steam out of there. Okay, uh, you must be drinking her vinegar oil. <laughs> that vinegar one. It's actually quite. It's very nutritious. Okay, go ahead. No, you told me to, to, to just to bust in, and uh, yeah. it'd be great. And I, that's what I did. Yeah. So no, you, I like it. Good. So are you a large? Large or a medium? I'm just asking. I'm a large. I think the Providence colors might look good on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's actually the same colors. We just have a little bit of an extra red we throw in. You know? Oh, really? That's, true. That's blood. You know, <laughs> it could be Sal's blood. Hey, you know, I, I, I feel like it could bring out Sal's eyes a little bit. You know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> good, good. Good. So anyway, good. like this last show, just one more time, because you know, you know, because you know, you taught me everything that I know in the game, and you know, I had an unbelievable winning streak. I think it was six years. Um. So, and I know you had to cover me for most of those six years, because you know, I know it's you took a you lot. Cheated. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, you know, you didn't say that. You, I you, you know what? We would give her a team. Uh-huh. Uh, we'd have these tryouts and we'd make the teams really even yeah. and then she'd come in with new players and she wouldn't right. lose a game I bunch of ringers <laughs> no well it's not it, they were part of the club and you know it was all about outreach do you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> and you know and, and, and you deals know, in the parking great. lot I, I outreached when I see any kid like that's 14 that's 6 foot man I reached out you know what <laughs> I'm saying always why not 
Why That's not? what you're supposed to bring. You're supposed to give a kid child safety, you know, yeah. and mentoring. That's what we do, Sal. <laughs> True so, story about Boys and Girls Club. That's where uh, I started my coaching career. See? Really? Boys and Girls Club. I was a 17-year-old, high school, right. and uh, Boys and Girls Club in Simi Valley. I was my okay. first. And uh, actually, I ended up coaching uh, the son of, you know, one of the head coaches in our town. And that what got me my first high school coaching job. There you it's, go. If not, not for the Boys and Girls Club, I'd be in a totally different Michael place. Michael loves that stuff. You need oh, to yeah. write that up and then send it to him. Not hard, Sal. That's he great. Loves that that's stuff. What, that's I, owe, what, I owe a lot to the Boys and Girls that's Club. That's why he's such a good coach. That's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. He's not too shabby himself over here. Yeah. Well, well, you probably you say you probably had to go to one of your clinics. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? Uh, real quick, uh, I've been talking about Boys and Girls Clubs. On... Um, Friday, uh, actually, uh, well, Friday, uh, November 13th. Right, that's in three days from now. Today's No, no, uh, November 13th. Right. Yes. Yes. right. Today is the, the 10th. 10th. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. It is the 10th of November. Okay, right. gotcha. Let's, gotcha. Get, let's get our calendar well, straight. <laughs> so, okay, so on Thursday, right. right? There you go. There you go. I'm flying to Mississippi. Oh. Nice. Wow. In Starkville, uh, Mississippi, to see... Oh, Ben Holland. See Ben Holland. Yeah. Nice. And then Shante Liggins is the head assistant at Eastern Washington. And they Huge play, boys club. And they play each other yeah. on Friday night, the 13th, and they nice. called me and said, we want you there. I says, I'll be there. Right. And then on Saturday afternoon, he's got tickets for us to go see the Alabama-Mississippi State football game. Wow. Nice. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, very this, cool. This is all Boys and Girls Club connected. Yeah. I remember uh, when we played at Laguna in that second game at your guys' yeah. place. Uh, ben Howland was in the stands. He was there <laughs> supporting. Uh, the. I was hoping that he was rooting for Providence, but my guess is maybe he was rooting for Sal more yeah. than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to lose to a, a big college coach, you know, further your career. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you know. What is it? Own, own five. <laughs> no, no. It's gonna be, well, December 3rd is going to be exciting because I'm going to be there. I'm going to do the first half on Laguna, yeah. second half on Providence because I'm Switzerland. And, uh, you know, we were thinking about something that was going to be fun for everybody involved, you know, to get a lot of people to go there because I invited all of Teen Sports Radio. What's it? How do you get it? Is it like five bucks right now? How, how much? What's the ticket? It's thing? free. They ch- yeah, they don't charge. Really? Yeah, they don't charge. What's wrong our with you? Game, our home games at Westmont, <laughs> we, like we don't money. charge either. Oh, really? No. Nice. And I know Laguna never charges we're at their free. home games either. Yeah. Oh, I like Mo- that. Most Condor League teams. I don't think any of the Condor League teams <laughs> no. do unless it's a playoff game and we have to because CIF says so. But, right, right, right. Yeah. Playoffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Curl. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. All right, so no expectations. The over under I hear is six. I'm just saying. I'm not is doing that, a is line. That what, is that what yeah, the line six. is right now? Yeah. Well, so Steve, Favorite is you, Sal. Steve's been practicing for uh, yeah. two months now. Yeah, some, somebody says you yeah, got all, a ringer, all though. All these guys are in football right I know, now. Football. <laughs> and and they, they have a good team. They're going to make a – I had a meeting meeting yesterday and if they go all the way it's November 30th and we play these guys on the third right <laughs> unbelievable Sal yeah, you just same. you know something I know you I know you no though. you don't yes you do you have the keys to the gym you probably do a practices at 11 o'clock at night no you know what though I'll <laughs> no? say this even but. though with Providence you know Laguna rivalry if you, even if he gets a couple days of practice like He'll spend the most time with those guys. He'll make the most of it, and he'll have those guys kind of ready for for November. Well, he's just going to basically like bring his pink Providence shirt and says, "I am not wearing." And we we play we play (laughs) during league. uh, I think February six or something like that. So we'll 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 get we'll get a couple times to play each other. Yeah, yeah. all right, that's that's cool. All right, so look, we've got guests. We've got to uh, get to, and I know Sal, you got to get out of here. Any what do we got after November tenth? We have any more fundraising for United Boys and Girls Club? We could talk about real fact. We got a minute. Uh, no, not really. I, I think in, in uh, March they're having the carpentry auction. Okay. And then in April they have the car rally, which is a big one, nice. big time rally. Uh, we get all these cars and they, and they charge quite a bit of money. To, it's um, They give them a map, you have a navigator, and the navigator's got to tell you where to go. you got to drive. And <laughs> it's not a race, but uh, if you don't know what you're doing... Uh, you stop at each of these uh, wineries. You're not allowed to drink. You get a card, and then the, the uh, it tells you where to go. And then uh, at the end, it's a poker card. At the end, you meet at a big estate in Montecito, and then the person that has the best hand wins. Well, Sounds that's like an amazing cool. race type of deal. I, I, yeah, yeah. Something, and we're going to talk about that because I know you got Joey in the house. But let's do this. Let's take another break. All right, and then we're going to get to our guests, and it's a good time to do that. And this is Eric Assault of the Queen of Team. We'll be back with more after these messages.
We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in. Every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. All right, Gregory, I'm putting you on the spot. Where else can you find us? You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and TeenSportsRadio.com. All on, right. <laughs> on 9 a.m. on Tuesday, 11 p.m. on Tuesday, Sunday at 2 p.m. and Monday 3 a.m. Nice yeah. job, Gregory! <laughs> Woo! You've been trained well, my son. Good job. All right, I'm going to throw the mic over here. Steve Stokes, you brought somebody in the house. I did. I uh, I brought in a good friend of mine. Uh, we go back to our, our Royal High School How days. You doing, coach? Yeah, yeah. Woo-hoo. Joey, when I was coaching at Royal, was the voice of the Highlanders <laughs> for many years during our playoff runs and, uh, you know, Came up with a lot of great catchphrases for our guys, but then he left us to come up to Santa Barbara. Um, you know, he seemed like he was having such a good time. I felt like I should, I needed yeah, to join him. Yeah, you followed him. me up here. I did Can't absolutely. Get away from you. <laughs> Joey came up. Joey came up here to uh, to join the the crew of Keyt. He does the news for him every morning at five a.m. I believe. Yeah, nice and early. So if you're up at the crack of dawn or can't sleep, still up from the night before, <laughs> you can uh, turn on your TV five to seven a.m. and. See what's happening. Hey, right after you listen to us at 3 a.m., you there can you just go. Joey at 5 a.m., right? Sun, that's right. Sundays, and uh, you, you roll right into it. <laughs> you know, Joey. Uh, Joey's also, uh, you know, he's gone on a little bit of an adventure recently as well. Yes. Um, with, you know, he's on The Amazing Race currently, so you could check him out on Friday nights, right? Friday nights, uh, 8 o'clock on CBS. We... Uh, my girlfriend and I applied for the show. Never thought we'd hear anything back, and it's been, so far, a great adventure. So we'll see if we can continue to stick around a little while. So tell me about that. Like, what, like uh, when you guys, the, the application process, what kind of made you guys get into that? Yeah, so Kelsey Yerkins and I, um, she also was a reporter over at KYT, so... Um Dipping in the company ink, but that's okay. (laughs) It worked out. So the Amazing Race, just we applied for it. Like I said, never thought we'd hear anything. And when we did, we were so happy to be able to take part in this. The first leg was in Rio de Janeiro. So we went from Los Angeles to Rio and then Rio to Argentina. We spent two legs in Argentina where we had to... Act like gauchos, go UCSB, <laughs> the real gauchos down in uh, the Argentina. The real gauchos, yeah. And, um, you know, barbecuing like them, and then we went to Africa. And the African legs, we did everything from swimming with crocodiles to walking with lions. And Kelsey even, she's the big thrill junkie. I'm mm. the kind of the, I'm kind of the sissy when it comes to our team. <laughs> I'm the guy that just, just is there to, to carry heavy things and, and hold her backpack while she does all this cool stuff. She is the one that goes jumping off of Victoria Falls. So that's one of the seven wonders of the world. She jumps off Victoria Falls on the gorge swing, as they call it. And then uh, from there, the adventure can continues and we'll we'll see how the rest of it shapes up. She showed off her dance moves not too yes, long ago. Yes, that's right. When, when we were in Argentina she <laughs> yeah. was in Buenos Aires. She was dancing doing the tango of course. But Part of one a, of the challenges, there right? There was a twist to it. Yeah, we have roadblocks and detours. Those are the challenges and she had to do it the, the tango on, on a wall suspended hanging sideways while doing the tango. So she's she's incredibly talented and uh, couldn't, couldn't have a better partner. She's very athletic. She's very athletic. She's a Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show fan as well. Is she? Wow. Yeah. Everybody is, right? Well, why not? <laughs> um, so there's a lot of strategy that goes into this also with other with some of the other teams. Tons kind of, of strategy. Describe yes. kind of what you um, had to... My, our strategy going in was to, to be friendly with people, but we also made deals on both sides. So uh, we are uh, puppet mastering our way through the first couple of rounds here and making sure that... Um, you know, there's a little, there's a little lion and 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 f- gameplay going on, so uh, it all adds to the the excitement of it. So, what's been a personal challenge of you? I mean, I imagine you've definitely been out of your comfort zone a couple of times. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know, one of the coolest things, one of the coolest things was, uh, you know, we spent twenty four seven together. Oh. So we've been dating for a year and a half. And to spend twenty four seven with somebody, you really get to know them. So like you think you know somebody dating them, an on air really pressure them, cooker, and it um, <laughs> it pleasantly surprised. Shh, everything's awesome, awesome. So even coming back and all that being being what it is, just just an amazing experience. Like yeah. an old married couple now, huh? I know that's so true. 
So, um, what other um, g- just give us another highlight. I mean, I, I feel like this is a deep well here, man. Like, <laughs> you don't know the story. So, <laughs> there's so much that goes into it. Um, Africa was literally one of the coolest places, and we went to a M- Makuni village. It's been around a thousand years, and these people still live. Some of them the way that they've been living forever in in this part of Africa in Zambia. So, uh, just to the culture shock of that, driving down the street, seeing baboons running all over the place. I was freaking out because. I'm like there's monkeys everywhere, <laughs> so that was something that was really cool. I don't know how that's any different from Santa Barbara. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. so, Seriously. <laughs> so, as far as danger, when you say you're swimming with crocodiles, I mean, do people get hurt, or is it like you're swimming in an area no, it's where a family show on CBS? Right. Yes, exactly. But, um, yeah. What doesn't make it to air? It's right? more. It's exactly. more about how it's. It's more about how you can o- either overcome your fear of something. If people have a fear of heights, I mean, jumping off a, a, a cliff is going to be a, a problem for them. Um, the crocodiles. They were huge. And they were there. They were there. The, you're, can, but you can't grant, get bit. Granted, you're right. in a cage, but they okay. tell you right before you go in the water, right. keep your toes in, don't grab the outside, because Got they'll you. go after your fingers. Right. So, you know, these big African crocs are in there. And, and some people get a little nervous when they do that stuff. Um, it turned out to be a blast. But, yeah, there's certainly... I mean, there, there are ways to get hurt. People, right. you know, people have, have tweaked... Tweaked hamstrings. Doc would know all about that. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it slows them down for legs while they're on the race. Mm. Nice. I mean, I, I've watched that show probably the first three or four seasons. I'm not a big yeah. TV watcher right now, but um, I know you can't say how you did, but we get to get to see you anyway. On you t- do. For, you for get anybody to who doesn't know that you're out there, that's like awesome. And it looks like uh, you didn't like ask her to marry her on this trip or anything. You know, you could tell me that, no? Gonna have to tune in. <laughs> <laughs> well, she sounds like a keeper. She is. So what I would keeper. like is I would like her on the air. Sure. Okay, okay I would like you to invite her. That would be great. And like you, I mean, you know, neck and then right, with her time permitting. Sure. But that yeah. would be like a great way to get a female perspective of the whole Love race. It. Yeah. So Absolutely. I gotta ask if they allowed you to do a segment on yourself in the morning at five a.m. You know what we do? Uh, we do a little recap every Friday of the previous week's show. Oh, and, nice. then, and then we we look ahead to what's coming up the night of. Right. So Beautiful. Fridays uh, on KYT, you can also see a little preview of what's happening over on CBS the, the night later. How cool. That's awesome. We thank you so much. Put your hands together. Thanks for having me, everybody. Yeah. This is fun. Joey Butina. Woo! We got a t-shirt for you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make it a large. Get a crocodile. Put a crocodile on there for you. That's right. I like it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. We got to get going. It's go time. It's Eric Casaldo. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Eric Assault of the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. How great. Joey's still going to stick around here. I made him. I got my hey. hand on his foot. <laughs> Any, anybody that's used to having a mic and, like, you know, he can't leave. The, oh, uh, we got to go first because Joey's got to leave. He's still here. He's here. He's supposed to Love be leaving. microphones. See, he's got it. I know. <laughs> I take a picture of you. If you would put that, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a good shot we got. We're going to put that pink microphone right up to your nose and it's going to make you look really good watch it and then i can send it to you you'll see you'll see it all right gregory it's all you dog hello <laughs> hello so anyway um i bring friends in one once in a while and now i have a good friend here she's uh um she takes ballet and um plays the violin and she does soccer so um may i in- introduce kate delfona hello <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kate's in the house. How you doing, Kate? Good. How are you? All right. So, Gregor, we always like to have Gregory start off with the first question. So, because you know, because you know, you're supposed to know each other, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> is that class? Um. Well, it. De- um. <clears throat> what? So, for in soccer, what team do you play for? I play for Santa Barbara Soccer Club U14 White Team. Nice. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> fun, fun. <laughs> and did you, um, you and your team ever li- like do some amazing stuff, like go into different states, different cities, won golden trophies and stuff like that? Well, we travel all over, and this summer, well, last summer, um, we went to Canada. Our whole team went to Canada, and we watched the FIFA national. World Cup game, Ooh. USA versus Nigeria. That was awesome. <laughs> and then we played a Canada team up there. It was just a scrimmage, and we won. Yay! <laughs> Fun. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> 
you have some interesting experiences probably going up there and yeah. getting to play against some of those teams yeah, and get so to travel a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so, um, um, wh where do you usually do your ballet? You know, oh. <laughs> I dance at Gustafson Dance. You find that um, being trained in ballet gives you some special advantages. Uh, yeah, in the I field? I definitely think that ballet gives advantages to soccer, but soccer to ballet is kind of the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does it take forever to even score those points in the soccer field these days, especially in the seat? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, no. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'll be surprised because I can't even handle 20 minutes out there in the sun. I roast faster <laughs> than a marshmallow in a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, not this marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Give this guy a race. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you with ballet? Do you do any kind of competitions, or how does that work? Well, not at this level, but when you get to like pro track, you definitely do competitions. Is that and something that you're looking to go and continue on with ballet? Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. what would be the equivalent to scoring a goal in ballet? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess like winning a big competition. I don't know. There's this um, teen competition this year that I'm going to try out for. It's like a dance and then there's it's like teen star with singing. I don't know. But um, but it's dancing this year, and so I'm going to try out for that and hope to get in. So who knows? Ballet could count as points. Like, for instance, if you put your head on your foot, you get 10 points. <laughs> 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 or, I will, or maybe you twist around your leg. Maybe that can equal infinity points. Yay! <laughs> Instant win. What, uh, what got you started into ballet? Is there something that really kind of drove you towards that? or? I don't know. I started when I was like three, and that well, I can't really make my own decisions really when I'm three. Is that the same way with soccer? Yeah. Yeah, you were. But I, I, I always wanted to play soccer. Yeah. I love soccer. And then, yeah. That's and your true love, then. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Does Providence have a girl soccer? Uh, we are working on making one right now. We have a middle school soccer team, and uh, the way we're trying to continue to grow our athletic programs is we want to make sure that we're building our middle school teams up right? so that when they get to high school that they have a foundation of skills. And actually, uh, our middle school soccer teams right now are in season and they're they're just they're crushing it, and so I feel wow. really good about the future of so as they come to high school. Seventh, eighth, or five, six, seven. What is it? Seventh and eighth. Okay, so you got seventh, seventh through twelfth right now. The upper campus has seven through twelfth, yes, but the, the Providence that's preschool through twelfth grade, but there's an upper campus and lower campus, with, so they're split in half. And you're blessed enough to use pretty much you you have the accommodate you know the facilities the Westmont facilities yes, we, we share. Yes, we yeah? uh, we, so we Westmont Westmont is very good to us. Yeah, and uh, they they take care of us, and um, you know we a lot of our teachers um, on campus from Pro at Providence have come out of the you know out of Westmont, and nice. We send a lot of students to Westmont, and uh, our students are usually pretty prepared because of the high academics. Right. Um, where where and exactly is your campus? Because you're sharing. Is it the boys' club? Yeah, we yeah, we Barbara? share a part. The parking lot is shared, but our buildings are off. Um, you know, right there next to the boys and girls club. Right. Um, on Canter Perdido, in between. Um, Milpis and uh, Garden. Right. You know, I, one of my closest um, friends, a principal at St. Rayfield, she taught at St. Rayfield's for 35 years. It was like a decade ago. She always was afraid. You know, she was a nun at one time as Our well. Our middle school soccer team is playing St. Rayfield's as we speak. Uh, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> but, so maybe we should do a jersey thing with us right yeah, now. Exactly. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all in. So I coached there for so many years. But the thing is, is I always got, you know, afraid because, you know, we had, we had, you had the Providence Hall when it was Hall. Okay. And then you had Santa Barbara Christian and I mean she's always just wished that you know since Bishop has the like, school okay they have the you know the campus the school they have everything they don't have enough kids to fill it let's mm. just talk with it'd be awesome if they could all just go into one house as one you know what I mean and, and that she said that 10 years ago I mean what difference does it make I mean you'd have a mass and then you'd have a you know whatever spirituality it should make a difference you have great kids over there they great kids at, at Santa Barbara Christian you've got great kids at Bishop I just don't get it I don't so get it that's actually how Providence 
as it in its current state began because right. there was Santa Barbara Christian School that was K through eight, and there was Providence Hall that was nine through twelve. Right. Santa Barbara Christian wanted somehow to become get right. a high school involved. Yeah. Providence Hall wanted the same thing, and so right. they, they merged yeah. um, and just became Providence. Right. And uh, so there's no more Santa Barbara Christian School. So all those students that year, they're, right. they're all they're all in Providence, and they're uh, they're in our programs and mm. Bishop those, Providence. I'm just saying. <laughs> Why not? Oh my God! I mean, I always thought she was psychic. Hey, I guess our that's girls' it. volleyball program beat Bishop Diego. By the way, ouch! Stop it now! <laughs> I gotta go home after this. <laughs> hey, we had a great show today. I want to thank all my co-hosts. I want to thank all my guests, and I want to thank all the people in Santa Barbara. God bless. See you next week. Please tune in and join us next Tuesday at KZSB AM twelve ninety at nine oh six AM when we will go behind the scenes with the local students, athletes, coaches, parents, volunteers, and all other teams sports supporters. This is all brought to you by ePro Insurance Agency, leader in gift planning and wealth preservation since 1983. So please follow along and support our student athletes by reading the Santa Barbara News Press and then join me, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen, Dr. Dugan, my co-host, friends, teens, every week on the Santa Barbara News Press radio station. Oh, 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 oh,